Hey, welcome back guys for another uh, plugin tutorial here and uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys how to set up two new plugins for your OBS. Now plugins are a lot of fun to play with and a lot of fun to mess with. So we're going to look at two new plugins and uh, these things are always fun to play with. So let's just jump right on in and show you guys exactly what we got here for uh, for you guys today. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into OBS. So inside OBS, we have ourselves a nice little simple instance here of a camera and myself, and then this is this is our scene. So well, check this out, man. So if I want to go ahead and add something kind of cool to this, uh, if I add a little shape here, a little something like that, cool. What do I do with this? Well, check this out. If I go ahead and right click on the color source and I add a filter. If I add a filter, I can add this thing called scale to sound. And when I add that, check this out. If I go ahead and check an audio source here to my desktop audio and maybe blow this up. Now, when I actually play music, let me go ahead and click right here. When I play music, check this out. Look at that. So it's cool. It's it's listening to the audio and it's getting a it's being affected in terms of scale and what's happening right here. Now, while that music is kind of playing in the background, I muted it, but it, you can kind of see that this thing is uh, wiggling all over the place. And if I really wanted to, I can combine this with other plugins to maybe do something different. So let's reopen this back up and go over to filters and uh, let's slide this over here and check this out. You can actually start to really customize the way this thing works. So if I change the minimization way down to something like let's go down to like 14% there. Now you see it's really moving and really bumping to that beat. Now uh, I can also check the uh, the audio intensity here. So, you know, maybe it needs a lot of volume to actually work or maybe not very much. So you kind of kind of play with some of these sliders and, uh, you know, choose what's best for you. And one other thing you can do is actually go with this thing called smoothing. And when you do that, it makes the uh, it makes the smoothing of the motion a little bit nicer. So you can kind of see as as I start to play with the smoothing, it's trying to smooth out those bumps. So it is playing to the music. It's just doing it a little bit different now. So let me go ahead and uh, scroll this back down on the smoothing. And uh, let me go ahead and turn up the volume so you guys can hear yet again. All right, pretty nice, man. I'm into it. Uh, so. What else can we do with this? Well, what if I were to apply it to my camera? Add to the filter and then I can come down here, go add effect and uh, let's do scale to sound yet again, hit okay. Or again, we're gonna choose our desktop audio because that's where our music's coming in at. And uh, we'll mess with this right off the bat, maybe do something like this where it's nice and small and we'll up the smoothing a little bit. Now, if I close this out, you can see that right now it's kind of shrinking down my canvas a little bit. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna go like this and I wanna bump this up and kind of just scale this up to maybe fit my window a little bit more. So now you can see that my camera's back to how it was, but we have the audio applied again. So now when I hit play, it's kind of zooming in, right? It's not bad, but I can come back in here as this uh, song's playing, hit this, go to filters, and we can start to uh, adjust this a little bit more. So maybe it fits our needs a little bit better. Maybe I can turn down the smoothing a little bit and have this feel really edgy and jaggedy and whatnot. So let's go ahead and lower this threshold a little bit more. Anyways, you get it. So I was messing with the uh, the scaling here. That's why this is doing that. But uh, you're basically seeing like from start and then, uh, you know, finishes uh, fully zoomed in. So uh, you're going between these two big motions here. So kind of cool. So if you wanted to add a little bit of a bump to something, you can do that. And it, it's pretty cool. And that brings us to our next thing here, which maybe we can kind of combine here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. So the next thing is actually a uh, custom shaders inside of OBS. Now, maybe you've heard of shaders in the past, but basically you can use different shaders to affect, you know, your objects or whatever you have inside of OBS. So one thing that's kind of cool, I can actually come down here and add myself a nice little, uh, little text. So we're going to hit uh, whatever basic text we're going to type in activator. Now we have our little bit of text here. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply a shader. So what's cool is I can come over here and I can add a filter or I can just select the text and hit filter right here. And when I do that, I can add a filter. And if you come all the way down here to user defined shader, you can then add a shader. So you hit OK. And uh, when you hit load shader from text file, you can actually see that there's a lot you can choose from here. So you if, if you hit browse, there's a lot that come inside of uh, the various shader plugins out there. And this one happens to have a combination, I think of stream effects and some other things here, but uh, pretty cool that it comes with a bunch of stuff. And so we have this one called rainbow shader. So when I hit okay, it turns my text into a giant sliding bar of color, which is cool on its own. You know, maybe that's like my health bar or something like that. I don't know, man, you got to kind of figure that part out. But 
at the very bottom of the shader window, you have something that says apply to image. And when you click on that, now it's applying that color to my, uh, my name. So you can see here that it's being affected. And now my name is scrolling in color and it looks pretty cool, man. That's a pretty nice little shader to have there. And it doesn't take up very many resources to make this, this stuff happen. So pretty cool, man. So, and you can always make this whatever you want. So if I didn't want to use text, if I didn't need text, maybe I want to apply it to my camera. So again, filters, we're going to add a filter, user defined shader will load from a file browse and I'll go back to that same rainbow shader. And when I do it again, it's going to look a little weird here as the entire image is uh, shifting colors. But if I scroll all the way down here at the bottom, apply to image. Now you can see that it's affecting me and how I look. So maybe I have a little rainbow situation going on. So maybe anytime somebody, uh, you know, donates or, uh, or maybe a big cheer comes through or something like that on Twitch, uh, maybe this could, uh, this effect could be applied. And because it's on a little on off switch, you can always have this on a hotkey and just enable it anytime you want. And then on top of that, you can also come back up here and start to mess with these settings, which is uh, the saturation levels and uh, the luminosity. So if I start to mess with these things, you can see my brightness is going down here. Let me up the brightness a little bit more. Maybe the spread, we take that down. And so maybe we take the uh, the alpha percentage, maybe to 50. So it's like kind of, it's adjust, it's affecting it, but it's not going as crazy as that 100 was. So if I go back to 100, you can kind of see it's a little bit more affected. Uh, speed, I can always set this to something really high, which might get a little crazy. So if I set it to five, you can see it's already doing that. If I set it to 50, you can see it's really starting to cycle through here. So uh, if you want the fast colors, cool. If not, you can always come down here, hit the one, and now it's a slow, slow change, which, you know, maybe that's what you want for uh, for your text or whatever you're doing. So maybe every time a specific channel point redemption comes up and you have an alert pop up, that can initialize this uh, this user-defined shader here and make it colorful for a special uh, a special thing here. So kind of cool. And so I'm, I'm just trying to get your guys's brains and ideas work in as uh, this is something kind of neat and just as something as simple as applying it to text is kind of cool on its own. But again, on top of all this stuff, there there are multiple different shaders out there. So like once you install your shaders, you're going to notice that there's a lot to choose from here. So again, if I type in, if I click on the VHS shader, hit apply, you can see that right there, it's already affecting my camera. And uh, if I scroll down, and unapply the image, you can see it's doing something a little bit different here. So you gotta play with the settings and kind of find what works best for you and what works best for uh, your stream and your, your given situation. So maybe this is something you want. Maybe you're a retro wave streamer and you got some retro wave music. You know, you got some uh, some cool tunes coming in, but you like, you like that little bit of VHS quality look, you can do that. And again, if you start to play with these sliders, you're really gonna start to see things get affected here. So if I maybe change this to 100, and you know, you can start to see what this is doing and how it's all being affected. So this can be something that you can start to mess with. And again, I can always change this, reload the effect or default it out and go back over here, browse the shaders, maybe find another one here. Let's go for a uh, RGB color wheel. And again, if I hit that one, you can kind of see it's doing much of the similar thing as before. But again, if I apply it to the image, now you're starting to see that color wheel kind of shift all around the screen. So you got to think about what's going to help you out and what's going to take your uh, your streams to the next level. And, you know, you can see something right here. My name is uh, going to the beat. So that could be just sitting off on the side here, you know, utilizing both of these two plugins. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. But this could be it, man. This could be your uh, your situation. Let you you have this kind of going on here. So uh, pretty cool, man. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Sub to the channel. It would help me out as well as liking this video if you could. It would uh boost the video and use the algorithm to get uh, you know more eyes on the channel to grow this family some more you know what i'm saying anyways thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video uh take care be kind to each other i'll see you on the next one all right all right